So today I want to show you how, uh, how to read in a NetCDF as a raster brick in R. This can be really useful for, for doing a lot of operations on multi-layer rasters. Uh, so the first thing I'm going to do is bring in some libraries. I've got raster and we'll do NetCDF4 as well. Uh, let's run those. Okay, and then I'm going to set my working directory to where I have a NetCDF file. I'm just going to copy and paste this over uh, to avoid messing things up. And then we'll run that. And then the file name is... And so this is these are water year means uh, for cell for the self calibrated Palmer drought severity index. Uh, not super important uh, for you to know. Uh, and so let's open the netcdf file. Um, flip and see open, and I'll just open that file name. And then, um, let me just show you what this information looks like. Oh, it's because it's NC file. And it's print, not preen. Okay, there we go. And so, here's some information about this CDF file. So it has one variable, uh, which is a double, it's water year mean. And it has dimensions, longitude, latitude, and latitude and water year. And if we look at these, the longitude, they're 1,405 uh, rows, 621 rows, and 121 rows. So what we're looking at here is a raster that's 1,405 by 621 by 121. And we can see this again if we do dim nc file. Oh, sorry. I have to get the data first. But if I were to get the data, uh, I'd have a three-dimensional array that had 1,405 rows, 621 columns, 121 sheets. Uh, that's quite a bit of data. It can be difficult to work with it uh, in the NetCDF format. So what I want to show you is how to do this as a raster brick, which makes calculating some, of the, some statistics really easy. And so this is very simple to do. So I'm going to make a new variable called rasbrick. And this is from the raster library. And I'm just going to say brick fn. And I can run that. Okay. And now let's come down and let's check out the dimension. Well, let's just type in rasbrick and see what we get here. So you can see our dimensions are 621 by 1405. And this is the number of cells and then the number of columns. Now notice here that here 1405 was first, here it's second. That's because longitude is an x coordinate, latitude is a y coordinate. Uh, NetCDFs by default list the larger dimension first, so there are more units in this dimension, and so it lists it first. The great thing about raster brick is it does these geographically, and so your x's and your y's line up properly. And you can see, once again, there are the 121 layers there. Uh, and so that is a very, very simple way to read your NetCDFs into R if you're used to using rasters, uh, and that makes it very easy to use. The next video, I'm going to show you how to calculate stats uh, for these rasters, which is, is something else I have found very, very useful.